And now, the hot seat. And here's your host, Melva Williams. Welcome to the hot seat with me, Melva Williams. And this week is a special show. It's the Battle of the Cats, the Bayou Classic Show, featuring two of the biggest alumni from two of the <laughs> biggest schools in Louisiana. That's we funny. have Miss Dottie Bell. Jack Wong. <laughs> and in our second segment, you'll see Mr. Vincent Williams. But right now, we're here representing those Southern University Jaguars. That's right. All the way. <laughs> Nothing but the so, blue and gold. The blue and gold. So, Miss Bell, everybody that knows you knows one thing synonymous with Dottie Bell is Southern University. That's it. How did you... You know, how did you find that love for Southern? You know, well, I know I, you started in Shreveport right. and all of that, but but tell us where does that come from? My father. Mm. My father is a graduate Southern. Wow. And he told all of us, it's eight, five girls and three boys. He told us that you will be going to Southern University, Southern University on the place where you go to get that teaching career. Right. Because at that time, being honest with you, he said education. You will always have a job as a teacher. Right. You go anything else, That's but true. they will not lay off. Right. So it just, we just, I mean, just five of us, six of us graduated from Southern. Wow. Six. So it's a legacy. It's a legacy. And Nothing it runs, but. it runs through and through. Yes, it runs, <laughs> but I will tell you about this. Yes. I thought it run through me, but my son decided to go to Grambling. Well, that's part of the fun. He hurt my heart. He did, I know he Mel did, and he's a good friend of mine. I <laughs> know a very good friend. <laughs> yes. But he came, yes. I'm going to tell you the little story. He came to my class. I had him already set for Southern University. He was also. Awesome. I mean, that just, you just going to Southern. Of course. Because Southern had one paid for you. When you came yes. there, I got a check. Right. This, I was teaching in my classroom. He came knocking at the door. And it was almost time for him to leave to go to Southern. He said, I'm going to Grambling. I said, what? You doing what? I what said, what? For me? <laughs> Grambling. And I ain't going to tell why. But right. all I wanted to do, though, I said, look, let's get a degree. And right now, we are, the, we are being a son and a mother during the Big time rivalry. of the Bayou class. We don't Big, even speak to each other. Big rivalry. Big rivalry. Big rivalry. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about the school. Oh, yes. Because really Southern University is one of the only historically black college systems in the country. Well, it is the only right. in the world. So, you know, we have five campuses, and our mm -hmm. viewers probably don't know this. We have a mm -hmm. campus in New Orleans, right. a campus in Baton Rouge, our law school, the Ag Center, and, of course, as we like to say, the Crown the Jewel. Jewel. Southern. <laughs> Southern Shreveport. Shreveport. Exactly. But, you know, I was um, I was on the board for Southern. Yes. The two of for seven years. Seven years. On and, the you know, I love Southern. Service. Service, Service. to and Southern. And one thing about Southern, we produce a lot. We sure. produce a lot. Southern got to be the to me, I'm just I'm bragging now, but anyway. Oh, that's what the And I, look, do. when it comes to HBCUs, I love them all. Yes. We all need to that's support right. our HBCU up, but I feel that Southern University got to be the best. It is. And I encourage my students all the time, go to a HBCU, but the number one thing is I want what? Southern University. Exactly. Plus, we produce a lot. Right. And I look at the fact that to have Southern and uh, there's three, five campuses. That's right? right. Five. And you look at it. And just like now, I can say this being on the board of Kettle Parish School Board, we have the highest dual enrollment program in the parish. And you know Southern Freeport. Yes, Southern Freeport. Yeah. So, Southern is just great. I, I get excited when I talk about Southern. That's I right. am. My heart is blue and gold. Right. So one big thing that I know most of our viewers know that uh, the day after Thanksgiving, that's when the rivalry starts, right? That's when it all begins. They are Thanksgiving, but the rival start this Friday. That's right. It's at the Bayou Classic Bash. That's right. With the so two tonight, schools. Yeah, exactly. That's it's when cool. it starts. And then it starts at school because everybody going to wear their T-shirts all the teachers, I mean, yeah. the school system. T-shirts, jackets, t -shirts, they and win. sweaters. Exactly. And that's it. And then we have this big, by impressive um, bash. bash that we go half and half. Right. So when you walk in there, it's going to be half Southern, half Grandma. Right. But we love each other anyway. Exactly. I love everybody except after that time. Right. <laughs> except for I the day after that. I mean, my own, my own son. So look, the day of the game. I will be right there. Right. <laughs> but we going to win, sweet baby. I know. Go Jags. Go we Jags. We going to win. So let's talk about that weekend of excitement, okay? Because what we want people to do, because this is going to be huge. Yeah. I know um, the record 
for both of the schools. Both of the schools, Southern and Grambling, are both undefeated, undefeated. in this way. Right. And so we are really pleased about that. I'm excited. Right. And so in, in our next segment, you're going to have Vincent Williams on, and he's going to talk a lot about football because he knows that sport. But what I want to talk about is really getting people to the game, oh, yeah. and what it means to um, the both schools, to have people in that stadium. One so, thing about it, we need to say this. The money that we profit for is to help Southern and Grambling students, plus it's scholarships. Right. We need, even though it's a big rival, but they have the Battle of the Bands. Right. Then they have the job, you know, that the career, job, career, the job fair. fair that's, that's right. That's there. Then I think that uh, they have the legislative breakfast. Right. Because we need all of that. Yes. So in anything, it's just a weekend. It even even they started the parade. Remember, they have the parade right. that's on, on Thursday, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Exactly. So I advise that, like my family, my baby and my all going down, they heading down for Thanksgiving. And then the game, and the, it's just, plus, look at this, New Orleans. Of course. It's going Who to profit, be and in the New state Orleans. is going to profit from this. <laughs> that's plus, true. we have our own mini, I don't go to the game anymore, but I have my own mini. Rivalry at the house. Not the house. We're gonna, be at, we're gonna be at Big O's. At Big O's. We have a big. We have a big value class uh, party at Big O's. We're gonna be right there. So right if there. you're not going to the game, you can welcome to come to Big O's. But we going to what? Have a good time. <laughs> We're gonna have a good time. It's gonna be a fight now. It will be a fight. And you me. would put Vincent on behind me, right? I know. And he is, he is, but he, and he's going to talk he about He is Grambling. Mr. Gremlin. And you are Miss Up. That's right. Right. So the people That's know. Right. That's right. The people Why couldn't know. you put us together? I know. We thought about that, <laughs> but we didn't think that we could handle it. Oh, no, you couldn't handle it. No. The, the biggest jaguar this? and the biggest yeah. tiger That's all right. on the same stage. And remember the the home of the jaguars right here. Right, right. <laughs> but you know, the impact. For this game is far reaching. I mean, you have That's people right. from it's all right. over the country that come to the that you know that converge on New right. Orleans for this particular weekend. But in addition to that, like you were saying, is so many homes and people that will be right. tuned That's in it. to NBC. Uh, no, my sports. nephew, my um brother, um nephew, no, my son uh, from um they stay in South Carolina. Yes, his son. He would bring his son down here in high school, come to my house at Bat Shreveport, and we take him to the game. Wow. And he would either fly back to there or they would stay over and come back and pick him up. Exactly. They come from South Carolina. To that show you how that game impacts everybody. That was it my does. little nephew. Every for five years straight, he came down. It was the it's the impact and, and what happens when you see so many people right. having a good, safe, fun time. And of course it's televised. Right. So it, it is really special. It is truly, That's truly, it. truly That's special. Good. But I also want you to talk about, you know, being on the board seven years um, was something that to me is just a phenomenal accomplishment. Right. It is. It is. And you know, there's so many things that you worked on and so many things oh, yeah. that you did, you know, on the board. But I want you to talk a little bit about your service and what you've done. You know, I know sometimes mm -hmm. you don't like to toot your own horn, but I, I, I will if you I want. <laughs> if you want, I will. But okay. there are so many people that, you know, that need to know some right. of the things that have been accomplished mm -hmm. um, from, you know, even during your time on the board and even now, so many yeah. things. Of it's a lot of things uh, go on the policy wise. You know, see the board of supervisors when I served, we held all the policies and things for Southern. Mm -hmm. And you know, you had times when um, the tuition was right. too high. Right. The, the children would come to us and in, into the board meeting and say, what can we do to bring the tuition down? Right. What can we do to push Southern University? Those are the things that we deal with. It's just like now the same thing is happening and we know it's a it's budget. The yeah, budget. Exactly. But now I'm wondering what I want out of schools to stay open. Exactly. But with that budget like it is and the state mm -hmm. being broke like it is, yes. we have to look at that. Right. So that's the reason we need all the alumni from both schools mm -hmm. to do whatever they can to hold them together. Yeah. And because to I can feel yeah. that if Southern go, Gremlin go. If that's Gremlin right. go, Southern go. Exactly. And that's what I'm saying. We we all come no, I just say we're rivals just during this time. During Thanksgiving. But when it comes to Southern and Grambling, we need to stick together. Cause right. I was at the I was at the game, the Red River Classic, 
just as happy, excited, because really, we as a state, I mean, as alumni, and that's another thing, our alumni need to come together, pay their dues, and push right. this. That's we, so true. We wouldn't mm -hmm. have made it if it wasn't yeah. for Southern. Exactly. Our exactly. Because the, the impact nationally of both of those schools is probably something that mm -hmm. we could never trace back right. to a number. Because you have so many Southern and Grambling alums that are living all over the world that are making a right. contribution. Right. And we need the alumni. We need them to come back, pay back, to keep those schools open. Right. And to be members of their local chapters. Oh, yeah, the local chapter. Right? Yeah. We, in fact, we meet in Thursday, the local, you know, yeah. the Southern. I know Grambling meet. So we just need to give back. And I, I really want to compliment um, uh, Pastor Jackson. He had a. Um, Pastor fundraiser Aaron Jackson, yeah. That he Huge had a fundraiser. fundraiser. And he had all the Grandma alumni and some of and locally. And he presented us money. Yes. It wasn't no thousand. He I think he gave in fact they said they passed for three weeks, they passed blue blue fold, I mean uh, envelopes out, gold envelopes. So wow. have Grandma received four thousand, we received three thousand. But we were just happy. Right. To me to think and I think that all churches need to do that exactly. because it went to scholarship. Right. We'll be able to have some students. Exactly. And that's what it's all about. That's right. Everybody doing their part. And so it's exciting to see somebody like Theron Jackson who would find it, not Robert. That's right. To be able to do something that spectacular for both It schools. was great. It was a packed time. We loved it. It was wow. great. Wow. Well, that is great. Any final words before... Um, we close and we're going to get Vincent in here. Any final words that you want to give to the Jaguar Nation? Okay, the Jaguar Nation. Yes, okay. to the Jaguar Nation. All I say to the Jaguar Nation, we will win. It's been And we're going to win gracefully. And we, I just want the Tigers to understand it's not their year. Thank you. <laughs> well, that has been said. That has been said and it is right in the Bible. Okay? All right. <laughs> so, Donovan, thank you. My, this is like a God willing That's right. But I love no Jags, it. and we'll see you right back. Don't you go anywhere. We got a hot show today. Okay. Hot Thank you. <laughs> love it. Special thank you for the Southern University Launching Band. We'll be right back with more Hot Seat with Melville Williams. Like us and share us on social media. On Facebook at The Hot Seat with Melville Williams. On Twitter at The Hot Seat Show 1. You can catch me six days a week on iKoala Radio. You don't want to miss the hot seat with me, Melba Williams. It's just music, baby. The G is for gifted. The G is for genius. The G is for greatness. I'm a G. I'm a G. I'm a G. I'm a G. Come to Gremlin State University, where everybody is somebody, and be a G. Since 1985, JNS Electronics has served the architects with superior electronics from transistors, resistors, and fuses. We carry HDMI cables and a wide selection of AV cables and connectors. We also have a large supply of batteries and tools to handle your projects. Need CAT6 or CCTV systems? Call us at 318-631-8675 or come see us today at 6437 Greenwood Road. You can catch me six days a week on iKoala Radio. You don't want to miss the hot seat with me, Melba Williams. It's just music, baby. The difference between significance and insignificance is choice. And sometimes making those choices are tough. But isn't it amazing that our past has no place in determining our future and that where we are now doesn't have to be where we'll be forever? So I'm not focusing on where I have been. Instead, I look to where I am heading, and I'm going somewhere great, because I am Southern. The G is for gifted. The G is for genius. The G is for greatness. I'm a G. I'm a G. I'm a G. I'm a G. Come to Gremlin State University, where everybody is somebody, and be a G. 
Since 1985, JNS Electronics has served the architects with superior electronics from transistors, resistors, and fuses. We carry HDMI cables and a wide selection of AV cables and connectors. We also have a large supply of batteries and tools to handle your projects. Need CAT6 or CCTV systems? Call us at 318-631-8675 or come see us today at 6437 Greenwood Road. You can catch me six days a week on iKoala Radio. You don't want to miss the hot seat with me, Melba Williams. It's just music, baby. Welcome back to the hot seat with me, Melba Williams. And I'm telling you, this show is a hot show. Because like I said, it's the battle of the big cats. <laughs> right. Grab a state university and Southern University. We had Dottie Bell in our first segment. <laughs> but now we have Mr. Gremlin, as I like to refer to him, my friend and brother, Mr. Vincent Williams. All right, all right, that's right. How you doing, Miss Melville? I'm doing great. I'm okay. doing great. You ready for the beat down next weekend? I'm ready. <laughs> now, we just don't know who the beat down will go to. We don't know if it's going to go to the Southern Jaguars or to the Gremlin. Well, State we, we, Tigers. Don't, we don't want to whip them too bad. Okay, <laughs> so we're going to, you might have to. Tone it down. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. Okay. Well, Vincent, you know, a lot of people know you in the community, and they know when they hear Vincent Williams, it's synonymous with Galilee and Gra the two That's G's, right. That's two, Galilee two G's. That's and right. Grambling State University. That's right. That's but we're right. here to talk about Grambling. So okay. tell me, you know, and as I asked Dottie Bell, now I think people need to know, how did you first become, you know, affiliated and become to love Grambling? Well, really, I didn't have a choice, okay? <laughs> my mom went to Grambling, uh, my dad went to Grambling, wow. uh, my former pastor went to Grambling, mm -hmm. and everyone that mentored me went to Grambling. Mm -hmm. So I don't know any place but Grambling. Wow. And actually, uh, you know, my mom, when I was a little boy, she would, she was, she's always been a football fan. Wow. Uh, and that's interesting thing. for right. women to be right. in the, in right. the football Right. So, thing. every you know, they always would have a chartered bus going to all of the games. Right. So, I would be, you know, hanging on to her coattail because I didn't want to stay at home. Right. So, I've always gone to all of the Grambling games. And even now, as a 52-year-old gentleman, I still go to all of the Grambling So, games. tell me, and that's one thing that also people know about you. So, right. tell me, how many games do you think you've actually missed? <laughs> I missed the Bayou Classic for the first time in 2014 when I had open heart surgery. Wow. Actually, I remember when Gramlin Southern played here, and I'm sure Dada remembered that when they played at the fairgrounds. Wow. And uh, yeah. we won 1914. I'll never forget that. Then we moved to Tulane Stadium. I was a little boy. I was in second grade. And uh, went to Tulane Stadium. Uh, it was 80,000 people there. Wow. And then after that, that's when the Bayou Classic uh, with Collar J. Nicholson and all of them and Coach Rob, they came around. So I've been going to football games uh, ever since I, I've gone, I started going to all of the games when I was working for Coach Rob in college. Yeah. yeah. So tell us about that. That mm -hmm. is such a unique experience. And like I said, mm -hmm. when people know you're ingrained in the Gramlin football, yeah. you are. You're probably more knowledgeable about some of the plays and the players <laughs> and the coaches right. than some of the coaches. <laughs> so tell us about your experience with, with the legendary Coach Eddie Robinson. Well, uh, when I got to Grambling, uh, you know how we always be hustling for money. Exactly. And so, therefore, <laughs> we had work study and uh, and work, whatever you call it. So, I think yeah. it was work study. Work study, yeah. So, therefore, uh, I landed a job in Coach Robinson's office. And uh, his secretary, uh, Jackie Newsom at the time, mm -hmm. uh, she trained me and everything. And then, I, between classes, I would just come to work. And then, I would type up the travel list. He taught me how to do that. And he also taught me where, you know, when, when players would be late for breakfast, I would have to put them on the list so some of the players oh. would get mad because <laughs> they would have to run laps. Exactly. So, so therefore, you know, after that, he, I did such a good job with him. I, and uh, he started, tra he started, I started traveling with the team. Wow. You know, even, uh, even when they would fly, Coach Rob would take me with him. That's so, that's special yeah. to have that time right. with such a legend and for yeah. and to know that somebody as legendary as Coach Rob would invest in a student outside of football. Well, I, I mean that's yeah. yeah, and that's some things that people just don't realize. They mm -hmm. know that he was so 
invested in the players, right, but he right. was also invested in other students. Oh yes, he he was rev. I mean, he would come to the student union and eat with us and everything. So wow, you know, he was just Mr. Gramlin himself. He was. Right, he right, was. Right, right, right. So now let's talk football. Okay. Okay. All so right. I'm hearing that Southern and Gramlin are both undefeated. That's correct. And so I'm concerned for Southern because the defense. I think that's probably where they are lacking is the Southern defense. Yeah. And so how do you think Gramlin will probably be able to capitalize on that for the Bayou Classic? Well, our defense is ranked number one in the SWAT. Mm -hmm. <laughs> With so, pride. <laughs> that's right. Southern defense is ranked number seven. Oh. Our offense is ranked number one in the SWAT. Mm -hmm. Their offense is ranked number two. So, to me, defense wins games. Oh, wow. And with Southern being ranked number seven, right, right. we may. That may be our opportunity. Right. Now, I will say, yeah. I've been to many of Bayou Classic. Oh, I understand that. I and know what we, you're getting ready to say. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, the record is thrown out of there. And yeah. all of my Gremlin and Southern fans know yeah. that on the Saturday after Thanksgiving, That's right. all of the records and all of the stats go out of the window. That's so, true. tell me about that. <laughs> Well, you know, sometimes that just happens. You right. know, you can just have a bad day. I, right. Any given know, Sunday. On any given it? Sunday. And, and I, tell, I tell a lot of Gramlin nights, uh, we're doing very well this season, mm -hmm. you know. But, you know, some days you can just come out and just play flat. So I just don't like to say, oh, I know we got this. We got it. You know, right. you know I, I, I think we have the better team. Right. But we have to actually play that way next week right you know that's true yeah that's so that's, true. that's the way i feel about that you know but i i do feel that we're going to win the game gotcha. you know based on the fact that we have the better statistics right you know, so. that's true and right. stats you know right. sometimes stats can can really you know add up but right. okay so i have another question as it relates to what it means for you know as it, what it means <laughs> for um you know people to attend the game. You know, right. we, it's televised, it's nationally te televised. People mm -hmm. can watch it at home on NBC Sports. Right. But what does it mean for people to be in that stadium in the Superdome? Well, first of all, it's, it's, it's no other rivalry like it. That's true. You know, uh, you have you just have to be there to witness it. You know, right. I never wanted, I, when I had open heart surgery, it was, you know, of course it was on national television. And I was sick because I couldn't be there. I think I my heart started hurting again. Right. <laughs> I remember. We were all and, trying to comfort right, you. Right, right, time. right. And then all of my friends, they just decided to not go to the Classic, which was year before last. Right. They decided to stay home with me. And we had like a big gathering right. at my house. And watch it right. on TV. But you just have to be there to witness that rivalry. You know, 70,000 plus in, in, you know, in, in one place. Yeah. African Americans having, like Dottie Bill saying, just having a good, safe time. Right. You know, and uh, we really need that for our HBCUs, especially Gramlin and Southern. Uh, you know, it looks good for Louisiana. It looks right. good for both schools. Right. You know, it mm -hmm. looks good nationally. You know, right. and it's a good recruiting tool for us. It is. And what our what our kids uh, must understand when people come recruit you for for jobs, they're going to go to black colleges. Right. You know, and that's just the way I feel about it. So you just have to be there to witness it. You know, the Greek show. Right. I don't too much go to the Greek show anymore because, you know, I've gotten a little older. I right. leave that to the young Because you represent people. Alpha Phi, right. Alpha yeah. Dottie, yeah. Sasada. Right. So <laughs> the Battle of the Bands. I remember they used to have the uh, Bayou Classic pageant. Right. And then they mm -hmm. would have the job fair. Okay, and then you get up that morning and you're so geeked, you know, you would go Excited. to some banquet or some breakfast. Right. So they had so much stuff going on that you could attend and you could, you know, concerts yes. on Canal Street, on Padre Street. Right. So it's just a big fan fan. It, it is. is. And it's a family affair. It's a family affair. Because you see some of the Southern folks right. that you want to rival right. and right. poke with and, right. and right. kind of poke fun, but you get to see them during that time. Exactly. And yeah. it's a lot of, I mean, it's a lot of excited it's something but we want people to buy tickets right oh of course and to yeah. be in that stadium because right. it supports students it supports the school it mm -hmm. supports the scholarships right um it, it is really you know important yeah. that we yeah. want people to buy tickets. And, and i'm glad southern is I, I tell people all the time you don't want southern to lose until they play us <laughs> Because you have, That's I mean, if, if it's, you know, if 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 we have losing seasons, right, 
then the fan base, you know, it, it, it goes it, down. It, right. You know, so I'm glad they're coming in undefeated. Right. You know, because it's going to look, because after Katrina, the classic has, you know, it, it yeah, kind of it it, it went down and a little so bit. And so did all of the right, festivals right, and events in New Right, right. But too. now that Southern is undefeated and Grandin is undefeated, mm -hmm. I really feel this will be one of the biggest classics ever. Right. You know, because, That's true. You know, because... They both have winning seasons. Right. So what you know, and people are going to follow winners. Right. Yeah. Right. Exactly. And you have two big winners. Right. In the state. Exactly. And, right. And right. like you said, the state wins too. Yeah, right. So you know, as we talk about coaching, you okay. know, so you have Coach Fobbs, who mm -hmm. is a son of Grambling. That's right. You know, so right. how do you think he's done? I know his contract was renewed, but how do you think the fans feel about Coach Fobbs? I think they love him. I think he's done a wonderful job, and you know. Uh, I hope he stays around for a long time. For know. that consistency. Right, right. Yeah. I've, I've gone to every game this year, you know. I've seen uh, Coach Fobbs in action. He doesn't play around. He's a good disciplinarian, and I think our boys are very well disciplined, and, and that makes a difference, It too. does. And that's the reason why I feel that they, you know, he's just no nonsense. Right. Along with the assistant coaches. That's you true. Know? And he makes sure that his assistant coaches get what they need so they can mm -hmm. also do a good job. Yeah, and mm -hmm. that's important to right, make right. sure that the leadership is, you know, really, really, really right. um, there and supportive. Right. But, but okay, one last thing before we go. Okay. Which is probably bigger than the football game. Okay. Is the Battle of the Bands. Okay. We got to talk about that. All right. Uh, so now you're a musician, <laughs> and I have been to several of these Battle of the Bands. Mm -hmm. So your prediction for winner of the Battle of the Bands, and I, I just I have to hear. G S G S oh. G S G S U U U. I thought, I thought you, you knew. knew. Okay. <laughs> well, you can't okay. Go wrong. Can't go wrong. Right. So you think you calling grabbing for the battle of the bands? Oh yes. Okay. For everything. For I, every I, whole weekend. The grab. whole weekend is wow. grabbing. Okay. You know, okay. We appreciate Southerns showing up. <laughs> well, with that being said, I told you you did not want to miss the show, right? <laughs> Vincent Williams, this has been phenomenal. <laughs> I truly enjoyed it. I this enjoyed is, it too. And I see your G on got the G repping the G that's on your right, chest, right. like most of the good Grambling men. Nothing like the G. Right. Yeah. Special thanks to Dottie Bell and special thanks to you for being here and bringing some of that Grambling flavor. Mm. The Bayou Classic. You don't want to miss it. Buy your tickets now. <laughs> The G is for gifted. The G is for genius. The G is for greatness. I'm a G. I'm a G. I'm a G. I'm a G. Come to Gremlin State University, where everybody is somebody, and be a G.